Hello, welcome back to RC Nerds. Right, today as you can see in the bottom there, Goliath eats steel. Now I thought I'd do a quick um, video run, which I've still got, so I've got to still upload. A couple of issues I found out. He's, he's insanely quick, I'll say that much, but i show you what he's gone and done to the main gear pinion. Can you get that? Yes. He's completely chewed it off. Either this is a, just a really cheap mod one gear, but I've been into cars for years and I've never seen this before. Um, I've done. If you, can, if you want, I want to see it again. There you go. It's it, there's no. I've had to look at it normally from the front and the sides and looking through it and. I think I may have found the fault, but that is definitely a cheap spur gear. I don't care what anybody, uh, spur gear, pinion gear, I won't take anything for anyone else. Never seen this happen before, and I've raced some cars for a long time and used the same. It doesn't even have two runs, so there's an issue, got to get a new one of them. Right, I have to lift you up. Right, if you keep your eye down there. See it? Moving. Might not be much to us, but yeah. Let me just get the camera there. Okay. See? It's moving. So what I've got to do is <coughs> is put a different screw in there. I'm already experimenting with it, so it's doing it again. So I'm just gonna give it a tighten up while we're here now and just have a little look. To design this a certain way, I think what it's gone and done, yeah, it's come. I need to get some washes, and I keep me out on that. <coughs> but this is a quick video. Um, if you're wondering if the spare's been eaten, no, spare's perfectly fine, right? As you can see. Gears are fine, these gears are metal, they're fucking brilliant, don't you? Um, so, I've just got to get another Mod 1 tooth. Um, pinion. <laughs> I should really be a bit, oh, not again, but fuck it. You know, at the end of the day, these things are going to happen. You know, at the end of the day, this was a nitro, and never went out and bought the pack, and people go, that's what you get for not buying the pack. Well, I don't want to buy a conversion pack if I can use something else that is just as good steel as this so you know just because it's Ainsman's it's not shit it's done the done the job and the, what I've seen the converter anyway it's exactly the bloody same so sure or anyway that's all them also I've been doing a little bit of recording so I'm gonna stick it to my laptop tonight and have a little look see if it's work because I've had issues with this little um I've had a few issues with the recording facility on it but I'll see if I can work it out. It's just there's a few issues where I don't like you can't take the calendar off. So I'm going to do some cut and editing before I upload them this time. But hmm. and anybody's been into RCs as long as I have, that is a first for me. You know, I wouldn't mind, but the tooth was really tight up against the um, width a little bit. I'd even done the paper test. I don't know what to is, but yeah, Goliath's going to net that. So I'll have to put an order in now and buy a new one because that was a good little run, that. As I said to myself, even if it does, um, I'm not bothered if it eats a few, a few gears. There's no, no movement on the gearbox. It's not putting any strain on there, so life's a bitch, so you learn. Anyway, cheers everybody, and I'll see you soon. Also, remember, there's two up for grabs on the Velcro wraps for your body, so, you know, for your, for your batteries, so don't worry about that. Alright, cheers.